Binding of Isaac. I just beat Satan with Eve. And you know what? I've gone through almost every character that I have unlocked. Other than Lazarus and Eden. So I think I'm gonna go with Lazarus right now. And let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to go normal? Do I want to go greed? I think... Hmm. I'm gonna go greed. So Lazarus. Uh, he starts out kind of crap. He starts out with a pill. Just a random pill. It doesn't have a specific... It's not a specific pill. Um, you know, he's he has regular speed. He has... You know, he's just not good. Now, I'm actually not going to take this. So, Lazarus. You can see, times one. Lazarus has two forms. This is his regular form. Um, has crap luck. You know, average of, like, all other stats. Um, then there's Lazarus Risen. So, one, he'll revive with one heart. And he'll be a lot stronger. And he'll have a pool of creep that, like, follows him and everything. Or, I think, I don't know if... Does he have that starting out? Because it looks like I don't have anything starting out at the moment. Because you unlock different starting things for characters. So. But here, I'm just gonna go in here, get some bombs going there again. Grab this. The backpack is a nice item. I might want to get that. But yeah, so... Now the way I like to play Lazarus, you know, you generally want to get Lazarus risen earlier rather than later, because it's like, you know, you need to die in order to get him, and that requires you to lose all your hearts, and usually if you're like farther in the game, you don't want to lose all your hearts and then get risen with one heart, just not worth it. And what I like to do is get a devil room as fast as I can and kill myself with devil room deals. I think that's a fun way to play it because then you get basically devil room deals for free because you want to be Lazarus Risen anyways. And, you know, just a fun way to do it. So, you know, the thing with green mode is that, you know, I don't have to rely on luck to get a devil room. I can just get a devil room. Though the fact that it might not have a devil deal is you know, kind of annoying. Could just have chests or some black hearts in it. Yeah, that's why I didn't take that breakfast item, which breakfast is actually the most common item. And it's a health up item. It's, that's all it does. There's quite a few items that are just health up. They have no other benefits. They're just, they're just health up. And breakfast is one of those. And that's why I didn't take it, because it's like, you know, I'd rather die and get my, you know, true form, my more powerful form, and then get another health, you know? But I mean, regular Lazarus isn't terrible. Like, the main thing is, is that the luck is down, and that's annoying. But otherwise, I think he basically has similar stats to uh, Isaac. I think his range is lower. I think his range is crap. It seems like it's lower. I'm not 100% sure. I don't play Lazarus a lot. He's not one of my favorite characters. He's interesting. Let's see. I'm gonna grab a key over here. Oh, this is really nice for green mode. Gives money. Yeah. Sack of pennies. Which I think I unlocked when I beat Isaac or something with- when I beat something with Kane, I think I unlocked the pennies. Okay. Found quite a few nickels, despite having shit luck. I'm not doing too bad. I mean, honestly, I don't know how much luck affects things in greed, because it's not like you enter a new room and you find you know, keys or bombs, like, that's not a thing in greed, so I don't know 
I don't know how much luck affects screen mode. Like, I mean, obviously, like, any, like, abilities that you have that are based on luck would still function the same, but it's like, you know, finding things in rooms, I don't think it would be that much different. Come on. It's like, you know, I'm not super afraid of dying as Lazarus, because, but I would rather, you know, get the devil deals. I mean, if there isn't a devil deal, I will just kill Lazarus. Because of that HP up item. And then just play like I started out with two health, you know? That's how I'm going to do this. This version of this boss isn't that bad because, you know, he just spits out spires. He doesn't do his beam thing that often. And I think I think his beam is like diagonal and it does this weird thing. I think that's this version? Is that this version? I don't know. He's just dropping a lot of spiders. Which are kind of overwhelming at the moment. <laughs> can you, can you just, uh. Look, I don't want to die yet. Um to be safe, and because it's on sale, I'm just gonna take this. And we got the Headless Horse one. Who, you know, is one of the horsemen, but he's not, like, really grouped in with the other ones, because the other ones... I forget what, they're, what it is they're based off of, but you know, death, pestilence, conquest, all that. Uh, famine is the other one. You know, Headless Horseman. He's just kind of the other one. That will occasionally appear instead of one of those ones. Also, his head appears a lot. Which horsemen? Other things that would probably look really fucked up if it was realistic, because, I mean, look at his face. He's missing his lord jaw, like, what's going on there? Alright, Devil Room, please have Devil Deals. Okay. Not the greatest, but I'll take both of them. So Spectral Tears, you know, that's nice. Uh, greed mode, however, there's usually not obstacles in the way. And it doesn't go through enemies that's piercing tears, so I mean, it's not that great in greed mode. Oh good, I've unlocked Krampus. I'll explain Krampus when we find him. And then that, I forget, I always forget what the tail does. It says cursed? I know it doesn't really have a negative benefit. Okay, let me just do my thing. Okay. So now, I'm Lazarus Rosa, and you can see my damage is quite a bit more, my range is higher, my speed is better, my luck is better, everything's better. And then I have this item, which means when I get hit, I can leave a trail of blood. I'll take this, and... Even though I don't have an active item right now, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this for more health, because health is good. And yeah. Um, ooh, I do have a bomb. Grab that, and we're set. I actually have quite a bit of health as Lazarus Risen. Lazarus Risen does still count as Lazarus for unlocking achievements. Uh, okay, my tier is up. Squeezy is not a bad item, you know. <gasps> Spider mod. Love this guy. Um, this is okay. Well, this is good, but I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I don't know. Let's do this. Okay, I 
need to kill this little thing because he keeps on spawning flies. <sighs> little shits. I like how they pop. nice and greed when you have the two boss things because it combines their health bar you know when the second phase shows up oh yeah you can see i have blood trail but like you know it combines their health bar when you fight the two bosses in you know this room so you don't know which one you know you did damage to because it doesn't separate them so you know it lets you see how much damage you've done to each individual one by those. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Even though I lose my little trail. Like, and get a key. Oh, I bit my tongue there. Please. Um, lump of coal. So, lump of coal, it doesn't have any buffs that you can see in your stats, but what it does, you could kind of tell my tears are getting bigger as they go along. Yeah, my tears gain damage the farther they are away. A lump of coal is one of the items that you can get from Krampus if you fight him. Um, I'm going to get this again. I'm going to get this. Actually, not gonna take that in case. So I can, if I do take damage, I'll like go into my red heart and I can heal that instead of taking some more soul heart damage. Yeah, you can see how much damage I've done to each individual segment of you know, freaking Larry Jr. here. So ladder mod is just great. really. Just fine. You know, getting that heart would have been nice, but you know, you can get a lot of health up items on like every floor. Like, it's not exactly lacking in health up items. Peep. I don't like you, Peep. that I might lose my one streak right here. Shit. Come on, Lazarus, buddy. I can do this. Freaking sloth, get out. is a good item. So when you get hit, you'll sometimes drop just hearts of some kind. I should have healed myself with that heart rather than going for that, and I should have gone to that room. Whatever. I was that was something thinking. Okay. Oh. Wasn't paying attention. Almost got hurt. Alright, next one. 
explore. What do we got? What do we got? Regeneration plus HP up. That's one of the better HP up items because it also gives you regen. The regen is very slow, but it is regen, so. Um. This is one of the flies that just orbits around you. There's a lot of flies that do that. They all look similar as items. This one's kind of annoying because it's blue, so it's hard to distinguish from other blue flies that you get. The other ones are different colors, but it's like, this one's blue for some reason. Um, there's no bombs that I can get. Yeah, if you do this fast enough, you can get like two without Infested. losing another health. That's kind of hard because you get really close to them. Okay. Speed and shot speed up. Worth it. Yeah, see, there's a with my regen. I forget is it, if it's like once every minute or so. Like, I mean, if you really want to, you could just like leave the game on for a second and fully heal yourself. Because it doesn't have to be in combat or anything like a lot of abilities do. But, you know, that takes time. And I'm not going to do that right now. Why are these guys so fast? every enemy that's on here they will disappear and they won't show up during the rest of the phases but you know yeah see like they disappeared even though I had another phase because I got everything that was still there because you know they die if you kill everything in the room just need to do it fast enough um do I want what was what was in here what was in here uh, I'll just go on sale. You're getting it. Oh, just get the health up. I don't want to get that. I mean, it gives me two keys, so that would basically be ten. <laughs> but I don't think it's worth it. Because that's still more than I it would take for me to buy two keys. So this item, it's an active item, but it's a little bit different. You see, it every time I kill an enemy, it puts a fly in there, and you can get up to 20 flies, and then you could release them. Well, I mean, you can release them at any point, and I think I said 25. It's 20, not 25. I don't know why I said 25. But yeah, you can release them. Oh, this is war. That's the other one I was forgetting. I was forgetting war. I thought I was forgetting war. Seven seals. That's now appeared in the basement. I don't know what that means. Is that an item? I don't, I don't recall an item called the seven seals. I don't know. Um, yeah, you can see I have two flights because I killed two enemies. I mean, there were bosses, so I mean, it's not really good for bosses because you don't get anything from them, but like, I'll show you. I could just uh, press this. Now I got two flies, and they will go attack. They're not orbiting flies like that fly that I got. It just happens to be the same color, and that's annoying. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get... Oh, Uriel. And Pride. So yeah, Uriel. Shoot. Two different ways, so he can't shoot um, beams up here. Kind of similar to how, like, Monstro 2 can only shoot his big laser beam side to side. Alright, what's in here? Spiders. And a heart, that's nice. Okay, what was there other stuff I wanted? No, because I didn't want that. And there's no bombs, so I can't forget that. It's like those like re restock things. Like you can pay money to restock them, but it, you you need to pay. Like it seems kind of random when it how many you have to pay to actually get stuff. So I don't like doing that. Oh, I'm getting lots of HP up items. HP plus luck up. See another good one because it gives you more than just HP up. Um, if I do this at the right angle, which I didn't, you can go over those, or go through the little tiny spot in between, where you, and you won't get hurt. Um, it's a lot easier on keyboard than it is with this. I will say that. Um, you are no use to me in greed. I mean, this bomb is really good. It's a one-time use thing, though. Um, uh, cancer. HP up, feel protected. I believe this is once you take one hit. Um, it will activate like the wafer does, where you know all damage only does half a heart. So that's nice. Okay. Um. I think I'm good. Just kill some stuff, get some flies. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna use my fly. And you can see my creep on the ground. You can tell the difference between your creep and enemy creep. Enemy creep flashes when it's on the ground. It'll be easier to see if like some if an enemy does like, creep at some point. Tell the difference between mine and enemy creep. Because it can kind of be confusing if you have a lot of creep and then enemies have a lot of creep and you're like, what's mine? What's what's theirs? Whose blood is this? Oh, I should release my flies. Release the flies. Oh, jeez. But yeah, see, Gimpy. That's why I have parts here. Because Gimpy is awesome. I can hate this. I mean, greed is one of those modes, even regular greed is hard. Jesus Christ. You guys all need to die. I hate these freaking masks. Die. You need to kill a heart in order to kill the mask. Oh, those flies literally just saved me. Okay. Oh, another note about greed. It's not something that I use, and when I use it, it's usually on accident. Um, you do notice that when the... Um... What the fuck? Come on. When the waves of enemies are coming, the button is, like, pressable. It has little spikes around it. So, when you press that button, it'll stop the waves. You will need to take damage in order to press it. And I think you pay one coin as well when you do that. Um, so, I mean, if like you're really getting overwhelmed, it's a good thing to do, I guess. But again, I don't do it. Uh, I'll, I'll get this. Why not? Why not? Chad. Too bad you won't give me a little Chad. That's what Chad normally drops if you fight him in a regular game, in the regular mode. 
items. Yeah, there are certain bosses that only drop like one specific item. Chad is one of those. I don't know if he ever drops anything other than little Chad. Or little Chad. Just get like flies, damn it. Yeah, he's basically like, um, Chubb. This is also a version of Chubb that I hate. Because he can only hit his tail. Fuck's sake. Which usually requires you to like be behind him, but then he'll turn around and be like, ha ha ha, the hoon for you. This one's called. Come on, just die. Yeah, this is one of the harder bosses. Similar to Skolex, where it's a version of another boss, except you can only hit its back end. Release the flies. I'll do it. Who is it? Was it? Oh, it's Pin. Or no, it's, it's three of these? I was hoping it was Pin. I was just talking about you, Skolex. Is it three of them? Yeah, it is three of them. It is. No, it's, it's two, I think. It's hard to tell. They're just going all over the place. It's two. It's two. Okay, thank god. Hot, you're on fire. I can still poison you from any direction. So it's like you can't do damage. Like when you hit other parts of their body, but you know, you can still hit those parts of their body. Which means status effects can still be activated by hitting those parts of their body. So that's cool. Or like if my spider hits those parts or whatever. As my spider does. A spider mod buddy. I love him. One of the best familiars, I think. He does a lot of different things. He sometimes rarely gives me batteries. Why do I suck? It's Krampus. <laughs> so yeah, this is Krampus. It's kind of like the Fallen. He's annoying. He takes my devil rooms. Why? Uh, and he drops the head of Krampus, which is a good item, except it takes forever to charge. And that's the only problem with it. I'm not going to activate it right now to show you because, like I said, it takes forever to charge. Yeah, since I have the backpack, I can switch. Oh, and I had regen, so it regen a little bit. I'm gonna take these. Because this is like that other key item, except it gives me a heart and it gives me luck up. I don't know what the other one does exactly. But yeah. Even though I probably shouldn't have taken that now that I think about it, because... The next floor is the only one that has an item room that I need to unlock, but maybe it might have a chest or something. Oh. Coin purchase, I guess. Tears down, awesome. Puberty. Let's do. Tears down. Why did I get a tears down pill? Come on. Come on, man. Eee. Ooh, no, I'm not taking that. So that is Little Planet. And it is shit. There's a challenge based around this item, and it is awful. What that does is make your tears, when you shoot them, they start orbiting you. And go around, around. And it's really hard to hit things with that because you know they don't shoot in front of you. You kind of just have to, like, get close to enemies, and it's not fun, so I'm not taking that.
grab this, grab that. Um, gonna use this, switch to that, get this. You're the only enemy here, I'm not gonna use Krampus's head on you. Like, if I get more enemies, I will use Krampus's head. Because it is a powerful item. They're getting hit by the freaking fire because they spawn right over it. There's not a lot of enemies spawning. I mean, I think the womb floor is one of the worst floors for greed. That's. Yeah, that's Krampus's head. Wrong button. This button. It's like I'm trying to figure out switching and using the item. Also, those fires didn't give me any blue hearts? Come on, man. Another HP up item. I'm gonna go in here. Nice. So again, it's annoying that's in friggin' curse room or whatever it's called. I call it a curse room. Gonna grab that. Gonna grab this. Um, because this is a mom item, I'm gonna grab it. Ooh, this is a good item. Well, kind of. Mm. So what this does, this is a one-up. It, just like Mario, it revives you. The only things about items that revive you is that most of them revive you in the previous room that you were in, not in the room that you're currently in. The only thing that revives you right where you stand is Lazarus's thing. But yeah, this one is revives you and it gives you all of your health that you have. It fills that all up. So it's not like Dead Cat where you, it puts you down to one heart. Or the other re reviving items. It's the only one that like gives you all your health back. But I'm not taking it. Do I want to take... Yeah, I mean... I'll... Let's see, I'll get... Okay, just counting how much Krampus's head is gonna get charged, and once I activate the devil thing, it will get charged, so I'll use it then, and then I'll take the, um, take the battery. This is Lil Horn. I don't know if you've encountered him yet. This seems to be a enhanced version of him, because he's a little off-colored. Lil Horn, you know, he has a tendency to kill himself with his own bombs. So we ain't hard. These are Sister V's? Viz? Viz? Something like that? V-I-S. They're not too difficult. These are pretty predictable. Honestly, the hardest part is when they're rolling around. And those things that they summon, because they... Like, when they're next to each other like that, they'll always fire towards each other and do that. You know, they have a pretty big wind-up before they move. Yeah, see, it's like... <gasps> so, you know... Yeah, the hardest part about them is when they're rolling around. Okay. Oh, this is Gish. Uh, this is an alternate version to Monstro, who, during the regular game, will only drop Little Gish. Kind of like how... Chad drops Little Chad. See how much damage that does. Does a lot. Oh, I got 20 flies. Um, I'll release them. Yeah, I think I think Little Gish is one is easier than both monstros. Okay. Oh, I got regen. Okay. Uh, no devil room. No devil deals. Sadly. I do got two 
Hearts and Hearts or Black Hearts or whatever they're called. Um, and I'm not gonna take the one up. But I am gonna do this so I have that fully charged. And I will take a bomb for the next floor. Alright, we're at the shop. Okay. No, I don't really get why these are here. Like, I mean, I get it because, I mean, you could go down to the next floor already and not have to do this, but it's like, you don't get any of the items or coins or whatever. <sighs> Take my key. Give me something. Nah, I didn't think one key would give anything. Um. This does damage up. This is another battery item. But given that this is the last, I don't think this one would give me much benefit for Ultra Grade. Because I think it gives me one extra charge when after I use my item, so I'll like always have the item have at least one room of charge. But you know, I won't be able to afford it until I go through like all the phases here, so it won't be it won't be that helpful. And honestly, it's not that helpful for an item that has a lot of charge to begin with, because it gives you one more. So it's like you still have to go through a shit ton of rooms to get charged up. Um So here's the thing. I'm gonna go grab this item when I have the money. I'll see what that does if it's not another item that I want, I will bomb this. If it is, I will bomb him. That's the plan. Uh, I'll release the flies and I'll switch over to Krampus Head. And I'm actually gonna, because I don't want to fight Greed, because he could take my coins and I want to keep my coins. Like that, that guy hit my coins. Like these, those are like technically shopkeepers. Like if, it, if they look like the guys that you find in the shop, they're shopkeepers and they will also make you drop coins. Keep the ghosts. Uh, Ragman, well not Ragman, just his little minion spiders that he makes out of his head somehow. Freaking hanging shopkeepers. No, stop, bad. Didn't quite kill him. That's annoying. That heart is on the button. That's annoying. Uh, switch spider or flies. I mean, the switch button is a lot easier on PS4 than it is on the computer. It's on the computer. It's control, and there's not really a good, an easy place to hit it. At least how I just normally have it. I mean, I suppose you could set up another way or whatever, but I'm lazy. Alright. Getting this, because damage up. I do want that. And I think, I think that might be what I'm gonna go with. I'm actually, I'm not gonna use Krampus's head, I'm gonna save it for Ultra Greed. Cause I don't have a battery, I don't think. I didn't see a battery in there, no there wasn't. So I don't have a battery. This one is an alternate version of another boss that you haven't seen yet. There's a boss called Daddy Long Legs. And this is weird because it's. It starts with a T. Try something. That's interesting. Not, not too difficult. I don't know how much of a difference there is between it and Daddy Long Legs. Uh, that's the frail. It starts out really weak. 
um, then you get to its other form. It still has low health, but it can fire. Like you saw him, he was fire. He was charging up his big beam. I might say of these flies for Ultra Greed as well. What's in here? Coins. Um. That's just stuff. That's literally what is it stuff. It gives you a bunch of pickups. Like, again, it's one of those items that's really nice early game. Late game, it's like, eh. So I'll keep my money. <laughs> oh, mother, why are you here? Gave me one of the easier bosses. Did I kill all of the mother's hands? I guess I did. Okay. And I have one more key there. Krampus won't appear again, I don't think, so that's good. And two soul or two black hearts. And you know what? I think I'm good. That's all she wrote. I dropped a coin and I didn't pick it up. God damn it. I was in a hurry, okay? It's weird, whenever Monstro appears on this floor, he always like has a, a slight delay, so I always think it's gonna be Pin or Skolex, because they come out of the ground, so there's always a delay before they show up. But no, it's Monstro. Okay, I have a lot of health. I have regen. Flies. Get head of Krampus. And this is not the most, the greatest build. You know, I don't do that much more damage. I, you know, it ain't that great. So I want to use Krampus' head there to get rid of those. I mean, they don't heal him a ton. Uh, it's not gonna hit me, no, it didn't. But again, I have Gimpy, so I'm good. Alright, I used Krampus' head so I could just stay on this now and get flies. It's nice with this guy because he has like ads which are normally kind of annoying but you know when you have an item that charges off enemies that you kill it's nice it's gonna be like flies oh another annoying thing about ultra greed is that he'll pick up your coins if you drop them so it's like when you drop them, you can't just leave them and be like, okay, I'll pick them up at the very end of the fight. Because, you know, he'll pick them up and they'll be gone. Not even down to my red hearts yet. That's good. Oh, I got a soul heart there. Somehow that explosion didn't hit me. Oh, 
another thing about this fly item is that the enemies you kill, you have to kill yourself. You can't have the flies kill them, so you can't just summon a bunch of flies, have the flies kill a bunch of flies, and then keep summoning flies. You actually have to kill them. Fuck. Key bum. Got a coin there. Is there a coin behind you? No. Oh. I could get up to 10. There should be something unlocked at 10, right? No? <sighs> Fine. I've seen this. Alright, well that was greed mode with, uh, Lazarus. And, you know, I didn't get the best build, but I survived, so it was it was good. Didn't end up with as many coins, it didn't really unlock anything with the greed machine. I got ten whole coins in it. Yay. But, yeah. Talk to you guys later.